Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I looked at my uh, domain list and realized that my test domain that I'm using to do these um, next cloud tutorials is going to be expiring in about a month or so. So, uh, yeah, we'll be looking at um, doing some more next cloud tutorials pretty soon. So, leave me in the comments the types of things that we want to see. Um, that we want to see tutorials on and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at file sharing on Nextcloud. So let me first get logged into our test user and then we will jump on over into the system and then we will start having a look at how to do this. All right, so here we are over into our system, and uh, we want to cover just the various types of sharing. Now, one of the cool things that you can do is this will pretty much replace most of the Dropbox type functionality. Um, so first is the sharing works on very much like a Google Docs will work. You can share with individual users. You can share with password protection. You can share with an open link. So if I were to go into my documents and I wanted to share, for example, um, here I have a um, I have a file here which is just a a document. Um, I have the shared system set up right now, and um, inside of this we have the various options. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, delete the sharing link, and I'm just going to show you all of the different ways that we can share things. All right, so. Inside of the system, we can pull these guys open and inside of our sharing, one thing that I can do is I can share it with, uh, with different users. And uh, if I can remember what the other users' names were on this thing, uh, when you start typing in a user list, hold on, I have a user list over here. Uh, okay. So when you start typing in a user list, uh, then you can actually pick an individual person to share with. So now this guy here is shared with this particular person and I can allow this person to edit. So I can share it with anybody in the system. Now the other option here is if we click on the plus, we can share with an individual link. So we can set an expiration date, which means after this period of time, the person can no longer uh, can no longer see it. We can password protect it. We can prevent them from downloading it so they could see the file, but they couldn't download it. Or in a case of uh, if we had like Calibora up here and we can use um, use a system like Google Docs, then um, what we would have there is um, the the ability to edit it, but not not allow them to download it. Then we can toggle on and off the individual. Uh, individual sharing. And then over here, this is the link. We're going to copy the link. All right. So um, those are your various options to share an individual file. But you might also want to go in and you might want to set an upload folder. So we're going to go ahead and create a new folder here and we're going to type this guy uploads. And inside of our uploads, um, I might actually have to install a plugin for this. All right, now here it is. So this is a setting that's on a folder. We can set it to read only. We can allow upload and editing. We can do a file drop, which is an upload only. We can also password protect the directory and set an expiration. So what I actually have on my server for my clients is I have one of these set up in this format here where they have the the ability to uh, to upload. So now I'm going to copy the link and we're going to go ahead and open up a private browser window. So this means that we will not be logged in. And if I go ahead and paste this guy into here, <clears throat> it's going to give us this box here where we can upload files to Mr. Test. So let's go ahead and find a uh, folder here to upload. What's this? All right, so let's just upload this CSV file. This was our contact mailing list. So you can see that we have already uploaded the file. That works. And so now if I come into here and pull this open, now I can see that I have access to a file.
So now you can allow somebody, you can create on your server a place that any individual could upload files. So when somebody says, hey, get me these individual files, they're too big to email, you can actually come in here, create a server. Now, of course, what I would probably do is make sure it's password protected. Um, and so you can actually edit it later. So if you just come over here into your shared options, um, and come down here, you can always add a password to it later. So let's just do this guy here at um, upload just as a password, set the password. Oh man, I have to make it unique. See, Nextcloud is actually too secure. Uh, so let's upload, let's see if upload one, two, three is a good password. Is this gonna work? Okay, so that seems to work. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this guy back up. We're going to force refresh the page. Now it wants the password. So now I would have to type in my upload one, two, three. Now it should let me in. Now I can go ahead and upload files. So let's go ahead and upload this store list now. I think that's a store list for a client, <laughs> come to think of it. Um, but let's go back into our upload folder. So now I can see that I have both of these. But you can see that that person doesn't have the ability to, to alter or, or otherwise edit, manipulate, or any of those. So I just keep one separate folder on my server for my clients. They have access to it. Um, you know, I give it to them. If there's ever a, an issue with it, I can always go in and, and uh, change it, uh, change the password, whatever else. So there is sharing inside of your folders. We can share inside of individual documents. You can share with people on a password. You can share with people on a link and you can share with only specific users. Um, you'll always, of course, see the shared icon over here, depending on, on how it is shared. Um, and so here, I, when I pull this open, you, we can see that NC admin um, can see it, can edit the file. And uh, this is actually what I'm using to, uh, on my production system, still doing collaboration as we're working on doing the audiobook files, is uh, my co-author has the ability to, when he's done editing a file, he can go ahead and just upload it directly into our shared folder. And that way, anything that goes into that folder is automatically shared between the two of us, but nobody else on the system would have any access to it. So that is how you can uh, go ahead and uh, share folders, share files, share them with individual people, or just share them with, with that. Of course, you can also do email addresses as well. Email at email.com. Oh, look at that. That's apple apple. This is email at email.com. So yeah, apparently somebody's uh, tested this. So you can actually send them the share links. You can send them an email. And as long as they have access to this email, they can actually get in here and use that system. So those are your various options for sharing files and folders with individual people. Um, actually, let me show you one more thing though. There's one more thing that I did not think about. Let's go ahead and go into, um, let's go into our, let's go into our uploads. We're gonna do one more thing here. We are also going to allow uploading and editing on this one now. I think the password is still on it. So now let's go ahead and force refresh this. Oop, I actually killed it. Go, ahead and go back, and grab the copy link again. Okay. Upload one, two, three. Now, in addition to being able to upload files, now I can actually see the files and I could come over here. I can download the files. I can delete the files because I've edit permissions on. Let's go ahead and delete the file. So now I can actually see them. I can download all files. <clears throat> I can download individual files or I can go here and I can upload files or folders. So those, let's go ahead and upload this one now. So now you can see that this is what the, the difference is. So this is very much like the Dropbox functionality. I can see the files, I can upload files, I can download files, all because I have access to the link that was shared to me and I have access to the password. 
So there are all of the different ways to share folders and files and what those different options mean inside of Nextcloud. Let me know in the comments down below the other types of things you'd like to know about Nextcloud.